So ideology kills. It is not a childish game. Ideology kills. And I was very amused. I mean, the Heaven's Gate thing was a tragedy, but there were curious aspects to it. I mean, it was the week before Easter. All around me, I heard people saying things like, you know, how could people believe such crazy stuff? And by the way, honey, did you get a dress for uh, service so we can go and celebrate the resurrection of the Redeemer? And you just wonder, you know, whose ox is getting gored here? Be- because something is absolutely nuts, but 400 million people believe it, that makes it okay. But if 20 people believe something nuts, that's a cult. I, I, I have an ab- all of this gives me the creeps. I have an absolute horror of belief systems and, and cults. Keep one hand on your wallet and the other hand over your anal pore. This is the way to approach uh, all of this. Uh, Belief is hideous. It's also completely unnecessary. Ideology. Imagine a monkey walking around with the idea that he or she possesses certain truth. I mean, you have to lack a sense of humor to not see the absurdity of that. If you met a termite who told you he was on a quest for certain truth, a small smile would tug at your lips, I hope. Do you believe for a moment that we are different from that termite? I think not. I think not. We understand what we can understand. We build models. To do this without realizing the the uh, tentative nature of the enterprise is just damn foolishness. Here, my brother put it very well one time. He said, have you ever noticed that as we build the fire of understanding brighter, the greater the volume of darkness that is revealed? Or here, I'll put it for you in a geometric model. As the sphere of understanding expands, as the sphere of understanding expands, the surface area of ignorance necessarily grows ever larger. How could it be otherwise? Well, so then get a grip. That's why I say the thing to keep coming back to is the felt presence of immediate experience. Not how do I feel as a feminist or a Marxist or a devotee of Hieronymus Bosch or whatever. How do I feel? Period. Not, not through the filter of, uh, of ideology. As I look back through history, as you look back through history, very few ideologies last very long without going sour or becoming toxic. So why should we assume, as all those naive societies in the past assumed, that we are, you know, have 95% of the truth and the other 5% will be delivered by our best people in the next three years? People, fools have always believed that, but the smart money knows we ain't even close.